Okay, pinsets. So pins, pins is actually came from the old days of pin potters. So instead of printers, you actually have this really cool oh, actually there's this big um, big device and it had this like electrically static backing on it and you just put your paper onto it and it uses like this static electricity to stick the paper to the to the device. I reckon drawing boards would be awesome to have that put on stays there. And then it would actually physically pick up pens and then draw the shapes like with using a mechanical arm. It was really cool because it would actually go and you know, when you get perfect lines. And each of those pens, so you'd have a pen set in the device, not as many as what this has got. But um, you'd have a physical pen set, so you'd have to set up your pen set in your CAD program for what pens you had loaded into the device. Then, like, pen number one could have been, you know, uh, 0.5 millimeter black pen. Um, you know, and then, you know, 0.12 orange pen, etc., etc. You actually see. This is replicated in here. So it's got pen number one, what the pen weight is, and what the color is. And so CAD program still got a useless system of, of managing all your pens. So when you choose a color um, or a pen for your you know your cross section, you know, through your wall and it says what pens it uses, that's pen number one. So that means that pen number one is used throughout your document and other places. Well, I'm going to share with you pen number one. Come in here and you change pin number one to be orange, all the things that use pin number one will now be orange. So you guys would have seen that by default it uses that pin set and the layouts. Okay? That's good. So if I go and flick over to your layouts, You would have seen this, and under properties, it's got the pen set that it uses. Oh, mine's not defaulting to that, but anyway. And so, if I change that to whatever, it's now going to be all black pens. The reason you want to do this is that if somebody's going to be photocopying your drawing, and um, if you've got, like, especially red on black, the photocopy is black. So you can change the pen sets whenever you like. And you can create your own. So you can actually go, mm, actually I might I like this one. But I'm gonna make some changes. I'm going to call this pen 0.5 mil, which is ginormous. So it instantly says custom. Then you go store as you know, Zane's demo. Cool. And so and now I can just go through and just change all the pens as I wish. And if I go into here, right, if I actually go to the view, I can actually simulate the pen weights. So it says here true line weights. So that's when you go and zoom in. Hang on. Come on. Oh, that's probably because of my scale, 1 to 50. If I change this to something like 1 to 500. There you go. So you can actually see the actual... So if I zoomed in on my piece of paper, you know, put my face right up to it, that's what that column would look like. If I go and grab pin number 1 now, you will see it's ginormous. So it's quite a good idea to like flip that on before you go and print or whatever to see that you see what it's going to look like. And again, if your scale's wrong, these will end up like really, really thin or really, really big. And you kind of go, ah, oh, I think my scale's wrong because it shouldn't be that fat. And I think you can just go right click on here as well and go true line weight. Cool. Uh, actually, I don't like that pin. I'm going to change it to be 0.25 and I want it to be, oh did you know this? These dialogue boxes, that little, little magnifying glass, so I really like this red colour. And you can grab it. And you can also, if you drag it and pop it down here, it'll stay there and you can choose that um, whenever, you, whenever you see the same colour picker. Cool, so that's now the same colour as that there. 
believe it or not. <laughs> or maybe Archicad Green. Um, so yeah, so you can make up your own pen sets and colours. Uh, anything else? I've got a quick rummage around in here. If you had a pen set, remember you can use the attribute manager, which I've shown you this before. But if you had a drawing that you'd made up your own pen set, you know, or your own materials, or whatever you like. So for example, the um, last assignment, we had to make our own textures. I can't remember if I saved that or not. Possibly. Where would I have put it? Probably in documents, I imagine. Sports field, blah, blah, I don't know. Anyway, so let's say I'm going to open that. It'll load up everything in here, so including the layers, layer combinations. So I, I know some of you, have, I don't know, actually it might have been in the class, and then ordered some stuff from the GIS, and, um, but they opened the document, and so they lost all the default layers. So you could actually go and open a document that has got all the right layers, grab all the layers and then transfer them over. Or if you really like the layer sets that you made up in the previous assignment, you can just come in here and go, right, actually I want these, all these ones, and I can go and add them. I don't got any. Oh, you go, see, so here's my dims, mesh, mesh, temp. Yeah, I like these ones. So I can select all those and go append. And so now I've got them in this document as well. I've got to say, actually, I also like the materials that I did in that assignment. Um, but I haven't got any in there. So I can go and grab that and then go and append it and add it to this document. But I think I've already got Paint 03, so it's kind of pointless. Make sense? A very convenient way of kind of grabbing things. Actually, I think I can grab profiles as well. Yeah, although, again, I didn't actually do any profiles in that document. But I can grab profiles. So if you really like the concrete wall that you did for assignment two, and you want to use that again, you can just go and grab the profile out, add it to this document. I'm kind of stupid that instead of creating a new profile, it's just use one Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Although, yeah, you might be, yeah, you'd have to grab the material as well. Um, remember that the lengths are still handled, yeah, you still need a, if you've got a custom texture, you still need the original um, image that you were using, so the brick image, you'd have to still have a loaded library with that image in it. But it's cool, if you've got that as a folder, you go, right, load my texture library, and grab the materials out there and it would all see the same textures. You can edit them, so it's like, cool, really like the Unitech walls, but I'm going to change the texture to be purple. And that would all update. Like so, all nice. Um, anything else? Yeah, so. Oh, if you ever get stuck, and like, especially if you like lose windows and things like that, you don't know what you've done. Remember, you can always go to that work environment. Now, I've, again, I've shown this to you many times. Go up to that work environment right at the top here, and you can go, right, standard profile, apply the scheme, yeah. And it will reset everything so that it's just like you installed ARCHICAD afresh, so all the windows will, will load up. And also, especially if you've got um, dual monitors, um, you can go and set up your whole screen, you know. I want that one there, I want that one there, that one there. And you can save that profile so that it will memorise it. So the next time you're working on a document, you go, right, load in my profile, it goes and puts all your layers onto the second screen and you well, let's sort of carry on. Let's see a navigator on there. And maybe you want the organiser because you've got lots of screens in the state. Um, anything else? Oh, actually, a couple other little handy tips. Let's say, for example, we had... Um, where is it? Our coordinates box and our control box, right? Which we all love. If you right click on here somewhere, see it's got some options. You can go vertical, but you can also go extend the control box. And now you can see everything without actually having to like, click and hold on it. So now to ungroup stuff, you'll suspend your groups. The button's right there, rather than having to always click and hold on it. And you'll see that most of these palettes have that option. See, again, I can go extend. So now I can go and click directly onto that button. This one here you can actually completely customise. And in fact, if you have a rummage around in there, you'll find tools um, that aren't advertised. 
There's all sorts of stuff in there. Spline, blah, blah, blah. See, there's like a framing button. A cabinet button. And they're not actually in here. Well, I don't think they are. There's all these other things. So you can actually see there's the MET modeler that's in there. So if there's certain elements of the MET modeler you want to use, you can actually create your own ones. And in fact, yeah, somehow you can actually create your own group. So I can say, well, actually, I always use, I oh, see there's wall ends, and there's no wall ends down here. So I can say I want walls, I want wall ends, I want objects, I want the roof tool, and the mesh roof. Yeah, and you just go through and grab bits and pieces that you want. And the cabinet, cool. You go, okay. And now you'll see that under pallets, oh, no, sorry, toolbars, it should say, where is it? That's a bit weird, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, there it is. Zangs. Cool. Oh, so that wall ends thing gives you the ability to stick. Oh, let's get rid of this true line weights. You can pop wall ends. <laughs> Yeah, it's got all sorts of little settings for how the wall ends look. So I can have rounded off wall ends. Or really complex wrapped wall ends. Pretty cool, eh? But yeah, you can make up your own toolbars and tool palettes and all sorts of stuff. So Archicad yeah, can be totally customised. Yes, yeah, so let's have a go. Um, toolbars. So let's say I'm always going and doing rendering that sort of stuff and creating sun studies. So you go into here somewhere, you can go new toolbar, designs, and what is it? It's under um, document, sorry. Document, creative imaging, where is it? There we go. I want the photo render one, I want the photo rendering settings, which I want that above it. Yeah, that one, that one. Cool. What's that one? Align view. Don't know what that is, but I'm going to have that too. Okay. And so now if I go window toolbar zanes, I've got my own little toolbar. I'm going to pop it up here. So now I can just go render. Yeah, yeah. And again, I can save that scheme and you can export the schemes as well. Where are we? Options. Work and work. You can actually make your own menus as well. So you can make your own menu. Exactly the same thing. So I can go, yep. Yeah. Give me a new one. New menu. Designs. Um, notice as well, that's going to show you all these things, but if you actually go to all commands by theme, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. Some of the actions. Top elevation, bottom elevation. That's yeah, kind of cool. Yeah. Has it got side elevation? Views, you got up stories, down stories. You actually find all sorts of stuff in here. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, you know, again, I might, maybe I want to grab the um, trust maker because that's a pain in the ass to try and dig in there and get the get to the trust maker. So it's under. Where is it? See, I even struggle to figure out where it is. Somewhere. That's true. All commands, alphabetical order. Create trust. I think is actually the thing. C. U. Create trust. Excellent. Pop that on there. Cool. Go OK. And so now here's Zane's menu item. And there's Create Trust. Top elevation. What does that mean? Doesn't do anything. No. 
It's probably why it's not very easy to find. <laughs> One day I'll figure out what that means. And then the whole lot, I can then go, if I go up to here, I can go, um, new profile, oh, sorry, actually, I'm gonna, I don't want to lose what I've already got. Oh, here you go, see, so here's my menus and toolbars. I can store that as Zanes. And I can even export that. So if I export that as Zanes, I'm going to actually go and stick it onto the server. You guys could try and load it up if you wanted to. Not that it's exactly that exciting. And it's got two buttons that don't really do anything. <laughs> Landscape, kids. Actually, I've got a shortcut to it, haven't I? There you go. Um, into the share. Cool. You could then go into here and go, oh, actually I need to import, and you can go through and find it and import that. Or I could even go, because actually, one thing I really love having is a keyboard shortcut for rendering. So it's that document, creative imaging, that one, and I'm on control zero. Cool, assign. If you try and assign something that like command C for copy, it'll say, eh, eh, that's currently copy. Assign anyway. No, not a cool idea. <laughs> you know, see this one here, I want that to be shift control zero. So if I wanted to try and change the settings, cool, yep. So now when I go render, I just go control zero and it, yeah, the error a couple of times. And I can render. Woohoo! What the hell's that? Okay, and then the whole lot, work environment, I can go new profile called Zanes, it's even got a whole bunch of stuff in here, and I can export that entire thing, again I'm going to stick it onto the, onto here, document the choose, oh no hang on sorry, into Let's go straight back to where I was. Yep, share. And it's Jewish. Cool. Cool. And so that's my entire thing. So if I go and create a new document now, and I don't want Zanes, I could go and load in. Actually, I've got another Archicad sitting over here, right? Somewhere. Yeah, this one. So, uh, I haven't got my settings, so I just go work environment, go up to here and go um, import, and there is. Well, that's not exactly what I was expecting, but anyway, choose, cool, import. And there it is. So I should have. I'll just go OK. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say apply. Idiot. Work environment, work environment. Zanes. Apply the scheme, yes. OK. Cool. And look, there's my new menu. And there's my little buttons. And if I go Control Zero, it renders. <coughs> So yeah, if you find that you're doing the same thing over and over and over, there's always an easy way to either create that little button or keyboard shortcut or a menu or a toolbar or whatever you like. Makes sense? Alright. That's that. Um, until next time.